Road Safety Advisory Council has a vision of zero fatalities and serious injuries on our roads. We launched our Over is Over campaign in December of last year and the aim of that campaign is to raise awareness among people that even by exceeding the speed limit by a few kilometres an hour, not only is that illegal, but it also significantly raises the risk of having a crash. If you're driving even a few kilometres over the speed limit, it's over. Almost one in three fatalities and serious injuries on Tasmanian roads are linked to excessive speed. It's simple physics. The faster you go, the harder you hit, the more damage you do. The problem with speeding takes two forms. Firstly, speeding, by which I mean people exceeding the prescribed speed limit, and secondly, people who drive too fast for the conditions, be they road, weather or traffic conditions. Compliance with speed limits has been decreasing and too many of us have become complacent about speeding. We know from the speed monitoring that occurs around the state that speeds have been increasing in, in recent years and unfortunately some people just aren't getting the message to slow down. This is why we're implementing a new program of mobile automated enforcement cameras. Automated enforcement, coupled with police enforcement, plays a critical role in addressing high-risk behaviours on our roads, such as speeding. We know from the experience nationally and also overseas that speed cameras and other forms of automated traffic enforcement are effective tools in encouraging people to comply with the law and drive more safely. Mobile automated enforcement cameras are an expansion of traffic enforcement and will complement the current police presence on our roads. For most drivers, seeing a speed camera on the side of the road provides reassurance that speed limits are there for a reason and being enforced for the good of the community. For others though, the likelihood of being caught and the threat of a fine and demerit points is the only effective deterrent. That's why the cameras will be deployed in a mix of highly visible trailers and more covert vehicles. Camera locations have been carefully chosen to maximise road safety outcomes, taking into account past crash history, current speed levels, and road safety infrastructure. The cameras will be located on busy urban highways, on quiet country roads and along shopping strips. A mobile enforcement camera could be anywhere, anytime. More locations will continue to be identified with consideration given to sites suggested by the community. Using current technology, the new cameras employ tracking radar to monitor multiple lanes of traffic travelling in both directions. The cameras are capable of tracking up to 50 vehicles simultaneously and can capture evidence of speeding by all vehicle types, including motorcycles and speed-limited heavy vehicles. When a vehicle is detected speeding above the limit, the radar triggers a high-resolution camera to capture evidence of the offence. An infrared flash, which is virtually invisible to the human eye, allows for images to be captured in all weather and light conditions, day or night, rain or shine. Before an infringement is issued, it is reviewed by highly trained staff at the Department of Police, Fire and Emergency Management. So if we can reduce speed related crashes on our roads, not only will we save lives, but we'll prevent many other serious injuries on our roads as well, and that'll make our roads a much safer place for all road users. Mobile automated enforcement cameras are here to deter those who break the law. There is no getting around it. Those who speed will be caught. The message is clear. Over is over.